like 10 minutes but they were so long because I was so bored and all these smelly people were stepping on my toes and speaking in these weird ass languages like Portuguese and Austrian and Australian and I was like so fed up but then finally the plane took off and they pushed me out in this like parachute and I was just like falling forever. Now, let's invite our guest in for, for a cup of coffee. You know, it's not easy for foreigners to integrate in our country. This chair is too soft. And then it has one of those little soft styrofoam balls in it. Your grandfather chair, I want it. Want it, want it, want it, want it now, now, now. Oh, 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 Bjarne stares at Aaron. A very small tear trickles down his aged cheek. Suddenly, the crystal pieces congeal and takes the shape of a small crystal man. Aaron gasps <gasps> and then forgets to breathe for a while. The small crystal man is naked. Can, can you see through? Ina comes out to the kitchen carrying a large princess cake topped with a thick layer of whipped cream and fresh cut strawberries. At the sight of the small crystal man, she drops the cake. I love you. Small crystal man wipes the cream off his crystal eyes and looks at her looks through her, sees everything even though she's not see-through, and feels his invisible heart float out of his chest cavity and settle on Aaron's forehead. Aaron gently peels the invisible heart off her forehead. Then she puts it in her mouth and swallows it. She burps with satisfaction. <clears throat> The small crystal man stares at her. Then he falls to the floor, dead, without the life-giving thumps of his invisible heart. The invisible heart thumps five last times inside Aaron's greedy stomach. I want that dead crystal statue. Who, who told you to come visit us? Your grandniece, Hildy. She showed me a picture of Grand Uncle Bjarna in the garden. I just figured I would score if I came here. <laughs> I'll totally live forever with that little sucker's heart in my jelly belly. 
I can cry. Grand Uncle Bjarne closes his eyes and tries to squeeze a few more tears out of his eyes. But he fails to do so. The Tippers of Elidna 